The primaries are quickly approaching, so let's take a look at which contenders Democrats like best, which isn't necessarily the same as who they want to win. Horse race polls can only tell us so much, so sometimes to get a glimpse into how a race might change, it helps to look at polls that ask whether voters have a favorable or unfavorable opinion of each candidate. Some candidates have gotten a lot better known, but their favorability hasn't exactly kept pace. Since last year, the share of Democrats with an opinion, either positive or negative, of Amy Klobuchar has gone up 29 points, but her net favorability has only gone up by 8 points. On the other hand, Pete Buttigieg has become considerably better liked over the campaign. That said, most of that upswing in net favorability came between winter and spring of 2019. But Andrew Yang has also seen a surge in net favorability, and it's only gone up as he's gotten better known. In fact, he's now tied with Buttigieg for the fourth best net favorability rating. Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and Joe Biden are currently the three most popular candidates. That's hardly a surprise since they're also the three candidates most likely to win the nomination according to 538's primary forecast. Warren has bounced around a bit, Sanders has basically stayed the same, and Biden has actually seen a drop in his net favorability since last year. So why is this important? Well, voters in primaries are open to changing their minds, and if they do, they'll probably jump to a candidate they already like. We know from these polls that voters have positive views of multiple candidates. So if one of the frontrunners starts winning early states, it's possible that many supporters of the others will jump on the bandwagon. For more on how favorably Americans feel about each of the candidates and where this data comes from, check out Nathaniel Rakich's article on 538.com. And for more videos, remember to subscribe to our channel on YouTube.